Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, I worked two and a half hours straight on this, and it looks pretty good. Uh, so, it's a 65-gallon reptarium from triplelreptile.com, and I have the soft tray for it also. Um, it's pretty good. It was broken right here, but I fixed it with hot glue, and it works perfectly fine now. And there is no substrate up to there. The substrate only goes about to there, and it's all the way up here, so um, there we go. I For the substrate, I have plantation soil um, from Zoomed, I think, and... Um, it came in bricks, so I soaked it, and here we go. Uh, I have my chia seeds left over from my chia pet, well, my papa's chia pet, and they're going pretty good. I just had them on a paper towel, and then I transferred them to here, because um, I thought that would be kind of easier. Uh, here's my little fountain that I got from Walgreens. And it works fairly good. It's very quiet. Um, I have the substrate covering most of the bottom. And it looks pretty good. I had to respray paint it uh, with three different colors of brown to make it look more uh, lifelike and old and kind of better. <laughs> um, back here I have a potted plant arrangement that I made. Um, with bromeliads and umbrella plants and what was called the mask plant and my female chameleon is right there she's loving it um, here I have another potted plant with um, some other vines that I'm not sure of the name exactly but they've survived in my other um, terrarium with my um, where she was over there and they survived fine they got nommed on a few times num 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 and um didn't kill the animal so they're good um here I have just uh, some more vermilions and some purple plants that I call the purple plants uh I don't really know what they're called, but again, they've been nommed on and nothing's died. Um, some more uh, plants. And right there, I have my little arrangement of fake tree limbs that I tied together and kind of wired to the back. And um, it's working out pretty good just to take up a little space. Uh, up here I have two more uh, little plants that go in the back corner. I wired them to the back of the cage also. Over here, same thing. I think that one's called the Wandering Jew and that's the only thing I can remember. Uh, don't judge me. Uh, I have this uh, vine stuff. I'm not sure what brand it is. I think it's like that Eco Vine or whatever it is from the pet stores. Ordered it online and got it for like super cheap. Um, wired it everywhere so it wouldn't move around and it works fairly good. Um, actually works pretty great. Uh, some more vines that I got from Triple L Reptile. Uh, I think they're just called plant vines. So I have them all over the terrarium, just kind of spicing it up a little bit. And up here I have my, I think, 20 inch uh, hood with 5.0, 18 inch UVB. And then right here. I have uh, what I use for all of my chameleon cages. It works the best. 
I got it at Home Depot. Um, it's called a plant light. So it provides heat and UV, like full spectrum UV. And um, it works great for all my animals. I have it for my uh, Jackson chameleon over there, male, that got this girl pregnant. And that's why she's in here. Where is she? Uh, where is she? Did she blend in again? Oh, boy. Well, I know she's in here. I'll find her eventually. Oh, there she is. There she is. Found her. <laughs> I'm good at this. Um, so just wired everything into place. And for the wire inside the cage, on the backs of it where you don't really see it, I kind of just twisted it around a lot so that the sharp side is on the inside. And it is uh, not sharp at all. They can't cut themselves at all. So that is uh, my new setup. And... Yeah, I'm hoping to get some babies out of her uh, in a couple of months. She is gravid. She is a lot fatter than she usually is. And I had to hurry and get this while I could because the male kept breeding to her and that was really nasty. So that's why I have her in here so early. Um, so that's pretty much it. What I don't like about these is that you have to zip it like all the way up. And I think, yeah, you just have to zip it all the way around. Here we go. And since I have a cord out here, there's two different zippers. I just kind of make them meet so there's nothing that can get out. But there it is. It's still kind of easy to see everything. Um, it looks pretty great in my opinion. Um, so tell me what you think. And oh, gotta focus. There we go. Beat that leopard gecko fry. <laughs>